something like that. Cheer! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke! All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Just push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. Don't push. What do you want to do, leader? Wait a second here. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Uh, you see. How many times true feeling? But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! What didn't you understand? You need to stop yelling at me before I throw you in the damn TV. Something is bothering me. Well, what is it? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just got an email. I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? We're missing something. There is, is something missing. Missing? So I remember the did time, the first time I did this. Concluding to him being the killer is kind of dumb. I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Calm the hell down. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. No, you're not. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Because you're jumping to conclusion. Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. Fine. You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. Yep. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. Whatever reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. 
How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. Yep. Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. True. Dealing with him right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. Let's just think for now. Jeez. How the hell can you stay so calm, man? Then again, that's why you're our leader. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. All right, I'm convinced. <sighs> Thank you. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. And... Level 10 already? Uh oh, that's max, that means... Nothing the full social Loki the shapeshifter. Oh she's Loki. What is this? Oh judgment arcana. Well, too late. Oh crap. We were keeping an eye on the suspect. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima san. Good. If Amatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation and their trust in you, Adachi san. <laughs> oh. I see. We'll tighten security from now on. And I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Aye, aye. Under Captain Doctor. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. They nobody know this, but uh, Teddy's not there. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? There you go. Add it up. Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her, and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Mm, nice word, Sean. He faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, stop thinking that way, dum-dum. No, that makes no sense. If that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. 
Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano. Yeah. Though her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her. It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh I don't really get any of this. You're not helping. Ugh, this is so conf Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. All right, I'm coming. Where am I? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I never recorded a long time being today. At the hospital. That's right, Nana Chan. I, I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guy, Sensei, what should I do? Come back. Oh, there they are. Nanako-chan came around. Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So this isn't a joke? You're actually telling me? Not a good joke. Oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing! Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right, that's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Yeah. Smart man. Hey, I'm gonna have to go today out to the other... To, to the... I couldn't save. I couldn't save. Why, Mayumi, and that girl too, I couldn't save them. 
Huh? Uh, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. So anyway, uh, yeah. I'm going to the inside the base. Uh, before this, I got an, I just got an email. So I'm gonna be working soon, and my recording is now gonna be cut. I'm just gonna say, it's gonna be more limited than it was in prior. Do it used to be. Oh my god, my legs. But I'm still gonna hit the gym, and I'm gonna try to record, and I'm gonna. You know. I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? <laughs> We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. The person did. Oh, it's snow. Yeah. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. Yes. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Yeah, especially you're just wearing a goddamn if you skirt. Find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine, but I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. And was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? Yeah, it's murder, bro. What makes you better than him? Sapon has been up this entire time since you were at the hospital. I heard what happened to your little cousin. Is there anything I can do to help? Let me know. Oh, you know, I'm there for you, okay? Best friends, dude, right? Uh, hmm. Is there anything I can do? Oh, you guys, please tell me ASAP. You got the guts, man. You got, you gotta be brave, man. Oh, God. Everybody that you already 100% finished is gonna text. Sayan. I heard someone from your family was in the hospital. I'm sorry. I don't know what to write. You're not alone, okay? When you're going through tough times, please remember that I'll be your side if you ask. The Judgment Arcana 2 will, uh, I think that's a, the other one that will eventually, if you pick the right ways, it'll level up, so, oh, you, you did buy it, so, I can't leave, you're right about Nanako, what happened, I'm a time is hospital as well, snow we're going to fall and the fog completely envelops the town, what's going to happen? He feel exhausted. It would be the best way to win better early. Sleep. <sighs> yeah, so yeah. Oh okay. as soon as I work I'm working, I'm trying I applied to Tesla and uh, it's uh the interview and all that the, uh, the drug test and the background search. You know, I just I need to do my physical as soon as I start working there. I'm trying to pay off all my debt and uh well, buy a new car too. It's been quite some time. Yes, Mr. Longnose. Do not, Do not be alarmed. You are fast you are asleep bad. in the real world. I have Summon you within your dreams. dreams. I like Igor's voice. Your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe? So I had done Persona 3 and Persona 4. I'm gonna the next Persona I'm gonna do is 1. And if you're asking which one, I'm probably gonna do the PSP. More, I can solve it. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? I can solve it, because I know I can cheat cheat. I got the cheat cheat because I already finished this game. The precise destination of this vehicle. Ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. 
If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? You heard many times before echo in your mind. Really getting it is totally different. I'm getting real it is totally yourself. different. I mean really finding yourself. What's right? What you should choose to do in life. The answers to those things lie within you. I think I need to start being more selfish. <laughs> I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. We are experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. All right, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. Why are we repeating the same shit we just saw about a few minutes ago? God damn it, Igor. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. Who is driving the shit? Previous. This year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one, one stream, but all but the best. All who pass through it are affected differently. differently. Some, some travel fast, fast some, some change, change their, their course. course. Experiencing countless events countless events as, as they, they travel, travel down the river, river of time. Just so the state of this room reflects, reflects the, the scenery of your heart. heart. Perhaps, Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation things. rather than action. I can't win the game, right? I hear a doorbell. Yeah, this from the game. Okay, we got you. Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I'm worried. <laughs> yeah, me too. I was acting all weird lately. Marisa and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? Do I have any goddamn any other options? It's not like I can work on my social links, right? There's still some wanting to some to work on, but you know it's too late now. It's no use, man. We can't find him. No luck for me either. I didn't sense anything over there. The fog's so dense it might be affecting my readings. I wish I could do better. I'm sorry. Ted. Don't tell me he really went back to his world this time. We told him over and over that he could stay here. Game you had last night. This time this may be the time to contemplate rather than action. This that is what Igor said, but let's think about this. I guess that's all we can do right now. He plays dumb a lot, but he's attached to us deep down. He wouldn't disappear without saying anything, right? I'm worried for Teddy myself, but let's trust in him and await his return. Right now, we must concentrate on the case. It won't be long before Namatame is transferred to another location. We must hurry, or we will miss our only chance to get his perspective on this. You know, I've been thinking about the case since, but 
something just doesn't seem right. Let's quickly review the fact. Of all the victims, only two were killed. Miss Yaman and Saki-san. From the documents we found in the car, we know Namatame had some sort of dealings with them. After that, there were multiple attempted murders in which we were targeted. It was only when he took Nanako-chan that we caught him in the act, identifying his modus operandi in the process. When I hear you put it like that, sounds like the dude's guilty. As a result of Namatame's arrest, the police admitted that Mitsuo Kubo was a mere copycat killer. Back up to yesterday. Remember when you said Namatame didn't have a motive to kill the announcer? That's what's bothering me. Right. Either he's completely nuts, or we're misunderstanding something. You lost me. She's trying to say that if Namatame is sane, then there may be facts in the case we don't know about yet. Yes, there you go. Sane or insane? Sounds like a play I saw before. When he talks about saving people, what does that actually mean? I don't think there's any doubt that it includes kidnapping people and throwing them into the TV. Could he mean saving them through death? He did call himself a savior, and said that the other side is a wonderful world. So they'll be saved if they die? What a bunch of crap! The bastard should have gone and saved himself! What do you think, senpai? There's something else. If you think about it normally, it's gotta be him. <laughs> but there ain't nothing normal about that world anyways. There's something I've been wondering about for a while. When we first encountered him, he said, You're the ones I saved. Don't worry.